Suppose you are a tattoo artist. A client comes into your studio one day with a drawing that his daughter has made, and asks if you'll be able to recreate it as a tattoo on his arm. The drawing looks like this. It's a pretty big drawing, though, and the client wants his tattoo to be much smaller than the actual drawing. In fact, he has a tattoo of one of his son's drawings on his other arm, and he wants his new tattoo to be shrunk down by the same amount that his son's drawing was shrunk by. That's a little confusing, but certainly not the strangest request you've ever got. He leaves you with both original drawings and a picture of his son's drawing, and will be back later to look at your recreation of his daughter's artwork to make sure it is the correct size that he wants as a tattoo. So, how much smaller than the original drawing should the tattoo of his daughter's drawing be? How can you redraw the design in its new size? In order to answer these questions, we need to look at the mathematical concept of enlargements and reductions.